Hey, how you guys doing? Madman here. So what's doing? Well, I'll tell you what's doing. Now, now the madman gets asked questions constantly, and I'm always open to that. I get asked questions about music and clothing and, you know, hair tips and, you know, anything and everything. But of course, as you guys already know, especially those that have been following me for quite a while, know that I do product reviews where basically I bridge the gap and show you guys where to get good solid shit, good products for good prices. I've personally found that Amazon is a great resource. It's probably one of the better resources that we have. Now, when I was young, all we had were thrift stores and I mean, we had Amazon and eBay, but really nobody was doing a lot of shopping on Amazon and eBay. I mean, hell, Amazon is taking shit over. You get all these big box stores here in America that are shutting down because they can't compete with Amazon. So there are deals to be had, but you just have to know where to find them. And the madman happens to know where to find them. So tonight I'm covering four, four, that's correct, jackets for autumn and fall weather. You know, now that we're getting into that autumn season, we got that last month of, you know, sunshine and hotness out there. Now the weather's going to be starting to cool off. It's going to start getting windier. You know, the leaves are going to start falling. And you guys are going to need jackets to go with. It's not going to quite be cold enough to wear leather. And it's going to be not quite warm enough to just wear like maybe a flannel shirt or go out in a t-shirt. So you're going to want a good fall jacket. And I'm going to cover four of them. We're going to go with the dicky jacket. We're going to go with the padded dicky jacket. We're going to go with the denim jacket and the Harrington jacket. And I'm going to show all of you where you can get good quality jackets for a good price. So I'll see you in the next part. Dig it. Okay. Here we have the Dickies Men's Insulated Eisenhower Front Zip Jacket, which is the exact kind of jacket I'm wearing right now. As you can see, this one is insulated. See the pattern inside? See how it has padding? This thing will keep you fucking warm. I guarantee it. This is also the very first Dickie jacket I ever had. So let's take a look here. The price goes from $20.86 to $78.29, which is to be expected for a Dickie jacket. Dicky jackets are, you know, very much an American work brand of clothing. Anything Dickies, the Madman endorses. I mean, I've us greasers always wore Dickies, you know, way back in the day, even still now. Uh, you know, from the Dicky pants, the Dicky work shirts, to the Dicky jackets. Dicky was basically the greaser brand here in America, and it still very much is. They have a different assortment of colors. So we have the black. And we've got the dark, uh, let's say this is the dark brown. We've got the black. We've got the dark gray, like the charcoal gray. We got the blue. We got the, like the beige. Come on, we got the beige. And we got the light gray. Us greasers always stuck with black, dark gray, and come on, dark blue. There we go. So let's take a look at the stats here on this. 65% polyester, 35% cotton, imported, zipper closure, machine wash, front zip pocket with spread collar, and slant pockets at sides, pencil pocket on left sleeve. Guys, look, there's the pencil pocket on the left sleeve. And adjustable tabs at waistband, which is true. They always have tabs. Let me go ahead and take this off and I'll kind of show you. Whether it's lined or unlined, it has tabs at the waistband, as you can see right here. So you can change kind of the size of it. The Dickey Line Jacket is a great jacket, especially for autumn and even some winter days. Because I'll tell you, man, just wearing that thing right now is making me fucking sweat. No joke. So if you're looking for a good autumn to winter jacket, I would go with the Dicky lined jacket for sure. Very retro, very cool, very old school. All right, the Dickies men's big tall online Eisenhower jacket. Now this one's unlined and I happen to be wearing an unlined Dickie jacket, a black one. 
see in here, notice how there's no lining. This is very thin. This is just a straight, regular cotton jacket. You dig? This jacket right here is great. It is great for those cool autumn nights where the leaves are falling, you got a little bit of wind, but it's still not too cold to wear anything too heavy. Great jacket for that. We've got again the 65, 35% cotton polyester blend. It's imported, machine wash, zip front and spread collar, long sleeve with button cuff, which there's always buttons on the cuff. Two front slit pockets, one pencil pocket on the sleeve, all Dickie jackets. The Eisenhower style jackets always have a pencil pocket. Dickie's online Eisenhower jacket features adjustable tabs at wristband and is resistant to wrinkles, stains, and water. Also, just to make an extra note, let me go ahead and take this fucker off. Just to make an extra note, this jacket as well, even though it's unlined, does have the adjustable tabs at the bottom. So you can see here and has them on the sleeves. It's the same as the lined Dickie jacket. This one's just lighter, $29.99 to $79.23, okay? Now this one does not have all of the, the bells and whistles, so it doesn't have the uh, all the different colors, but you still get your dark navy and uh, you got your charcoal. And that's basically, for all us greasers, all the greasers I ever knew growing up always wore black, that dark charcoal, or navy blue. We didn't wear really any other colors. So this one is definitely better for an autumn night where you don't want something to really hold a lot of heat in, but you just want to have a nice jacket to keep you covered, kind of keep you warm. You know, you can take it off, put it around your girlfriend. You see where I'm going with this? Great jacket, also is a great work jacket. Dickies makes great work gear, whether it's pants, boots, uh, shirts, flannels, jackets, they make great stuff. Very, you know, they're water resistant, stain resistant, and just tough as shit. And they're a little bit pricey, so you have to shop around. Dig it. All right, let's talk about a denim jacket. I got my denim jacket on. This is one of, one of the denim jackets I had from high school. I used to have a Wrangler denim jacket, very much like the one that you're looking at right now. This one is not a Wrangler denim jacket. This was made by Denim Gear. Uh, it's a great jacket. I love it. But uh, I've also had Wranglers as well. And Wranglers just makes great jeans. And they make good just, you know, denim products in general. So let's go ahead and take a look at this one. Not bad at all. All right. We have the denim, the Wrangler, let's see, Wranglers men's rugged wear unlined denim jacket. This one's going to be great for autumn as well. We got a price from $37.49 to $65. Not too bad at all. Not too bad. Now there's different colors. We have vintage indigo. We've got this one as well, a little bit darker. Different pattern, a little bit darker. We've got the black one. We've got the light gray or the, well, the medium gray. And well, the kind of like beige light gray as well. I would honestly stick with probably this one and this one. Also, you can go ahead in the summer if you want to get more than one of these. You can also take some scissors and cut it off and make a denim vest, which I had done. I actually had a denim vest that was this color. I had bought the jacket for this purpose, cut the sleeves off of it, and made a vest out of it for summer wear. 100% cotton denim button front jacket featuring button flap, chest pockets, and side entry hand pockets, adjustable cotton tabs at waist. Yep, very similar to mine. Very, very similar to mine. Not exactly the same brand, but uh, I've had Wranglers before. I've, always, I've had Wrangler jeans. I've had the Wrangler uh, denim jacket. Great stuff. That's a pretty damn good price. And of course, the, you know, the price varies on the size that you get. You dig? So if you're looking for that cool old school, you know, denim greaser look and to have a nice jacket for that fall, winter, you know, that fall, autumn kind of weather, well, this is the one for you. All right, cats and kittens, the coup de gras, the Harrington style jacket. This one is a classic, classic vintage piece right out of England. Some of you might recognize this as being the James Dean jacket, especially when you go over 
and you check out the red one. Now that looks just like James Dean's jacket. However, James Dean's jacket was not a Harrington. It was actually a custom piece done by the studio, which he later took for himself because he liked it so much. But it is actually not a Harrington jacket. But Harrington has the same style. Also, if you look over here at like the, you know, the beige Harrington. Whoop, there we go. If you look at the beige Harrington, this is pretty much exactly what Fonzie wore in, you know, the very first season of Happy Days before they were actually letting him wear the leather jacket. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Basically, Harrington is the Dickies of England. And someday I would love to own a Harrington jacket. So I will definitely be getting one eventually myself. The price on this one is not bad. It's $29.99 to $36.99. It's got one, two, three, four, four and a half star review out of five. Not too bad. The WWK Workwear King Men's Harrington Tartan Line Jacket Coat. Let's look at the uh, stats on this. 100% cotton, zip closure, metal zip, two button down pockets, classic <clears throat> Harrington jacket with tartan lining, 65% polyester, 35% cotton shell, 100% cotton lining. Very similar to the Dickey jackets, guys. Almost the same thing, just the style is a little bit different. Made in England by WWK Workwear King. Now this right here is a solid jacket. I eventually will be getting one. It's very old school. It's very retro. They have the, let's see, they've got the the blue, the navy blue. They've got the burgundy, like James Dean's jacket. They've got the black, and then, of course, they got the beige. Honestly, I would like all four. You know what I mean? Because I love the black. I love the navy blue. I'd love to have that James Dean-looking jacket, and I'd love to have, like, the beige, you know, Fonzie jacket as well. So... You can't really beat the price on this. The price will fluctuate as the sizes change. They have all different sizes in this jacket, as you can see right here. They got small, medium. They don't have large or extra large, but they got the double X, the triple X. So the small, medium is pretty cool. One thing I will note that I've read with Harrington style jackets that they tend to be small. So, for instance, if you were to wear a large, you might want to go extra large or double X. If you wear a medium, you might want to go large, extra large. So that's one of the things that I've read in some of the reviews about a Harrington jacket, that they seem to come a bit small. So kind of order the size up or maybe even a size above that. So if you're looking for a good autumn jacket, old school, traditional, there we go right there, cats. All right, so You've seen the different products, the four different jackets. You've got the line Dickey jacket, the unlined Dickey jacket. You've got the denim jacket, and then you've got the Harrington jacket. So I'm going to have all those four links posted in the description below. So go ahead and click them, order away, order to your heart's content, order any size, color you like. It doesn't really matter. It's all good in the hood anyway. You dig? So I thought I would share a little bit of kind of like what I wear and what all us greasers back in the day always wore and be able to try to bridge that gap for you guys so when autumn hits you don't always have to wear the heavy leather jacket and you don't have to be cold just wearing a t-shirt or a flannel you know what I mean usually like your leather is kind of for like those really cold days during the winter um, and then like you know the autumn fall kind of season is for like your cotton jackets and your windbreakers and stuff like that so hopefully this was helpful for you and as always, if you don't know, get a clue, get a brew, get a rock and roll tattoo, hang loose, and be safe. Mad Bands out. Dig it.